Uh, okay, so in uh, this uh, sessions, we're going to discuss about some of the uh, error you're going to face uh, when you're running the uh, uh, project 32 folder examples. So the first one we're going to look at when you start to try to build the projects. Uh, yeah, this is the error you're going to get. Cannot open files around 32.inc. So one of the most common uh, uh, error happen is because of the, your ERY folder is not directly uh, under the local disk C. Okay, so when you double click in, you can see there's another ERY folder inside. Okay, so what you need to do is need to copy uh, all the content of the file here. Just bring it up to make sure all the folder is directly under the uh, local C drive, then it should be, it shouldn't have any problem anymore. So let's say I go back to here and try to build again. Yeah, so you are going to, uh, this, it will be the success. So just remember, whenever you put the ERY folder, please put it directly all the file under the ERY folders of the C, in the C drive. Don't keep all this file inside another away folder. This ha this will happen whenever you uh, try to unzip it then most of the time when you unzip they will, they will have another folder inside. So make sure you bring everything out and put it under directly in the away folder in the C drive then you shouldn't have that problem anymore. Then the next error you're going to uh, face is uh, this one. The build tools for v, uh, version 1.4.2 is cannot be found and they're asking you to retarget the solutions. So what you can do is uh, you go to your project files, go to right click at this project, okay? Right click at here. Then you go to retarget your projects and make sure you select the latest versions. Okay, then should be a happy no uh, you can uh, overcome the problem so this is if you're facing this problem asking you to retarget the solutions you just go to the project right click retarget projects and click ok then you should have uh, able to successful run the build the program again okay if you face these problems then the uh, next one is uh, when some people trying to go into the debug mode, they are unable to go into debug mode. Uh, they may thought this this is also one of the error, but it's actually not. It is mainly due to uh, you didn't put in the uh, breakpoint, so they won't stop in any locations of this program. So what you need to do is every time before you go into the debug mode, you must tell them where should they stop for you to debug. So you must click on this area here to make sure you have a red dot or which is uh, the breakpoint okay this is the breakpoint so whenever they want to debug through this coding they will stop at here this is the breakpoint for them to stop okay so if you put in the, the red dot the breakpoint then you can start to do the debugging then they should able to stop at the locations you want right then you are able to go into the debug mode successfully okay then you are only able to see those windows when you go into debug mode. If you didn't inside the debug mode, you won't see this memory window and the register windows options. Okay, so remember, this is uh, not an error, it's just you didn't click the breakpoint so that you can go into the debug mode. Okay, so please remember this. Okay, the, the final error for you, uh, sometimes when you try to run, you may uh, fail to build and you may fail to debug uh, halfway so uh, the last possibility would be the uh, window security system they detected uh, the, the files is uh, having error having, having virus so they block it to have uh, to execute the debugging and the build of your projects so but actually they are not because they are running in assembly language uh, folder so that's why they, 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 they thought there's some error is happening so one of the method is you can put your folders into the uh, exclusions inside your security system so you just go to the all settings of your windows then you go to update and security part and windows security and you open the virus and treat 
protections, the threat protections part, and uh, go to this manage settings, and you scroll down, you will see one of these is the exclusions. So we need to add the folders into this exclusion part. So I just click add and select the folder because I want to add the, the, the project 32 folders into this exclusion. So my one is in here, then I go to a lesson document. Yeah. So I just click the folders. Uh, oh, maybe I just put the whole folder, then I select the folders, okay? So they will add the folder in this exclusion. So means they won't check this folder while you're running the program. So I, you may not face the uh, problems. So this is the last uh, way uh, error most of yeah project 32. So if you have any extra problems or error, please feel, feel free to uh, let me know. And uh, if you have a solution, you can let us know so that we can share with the others together. So I think that's all for uh, these sessions. This is among all these uh, common error you're going to face when you're running this project. Okay, thank you.